Ranieri in the Feminine Art Gallery to doing this interview. Very welcome here, Safi. Thank you for your time. And um, well, um, congratulations on the recent recognition by the Art Commission of the Canton of Bern, which in turn accepted your works into the Cantonal Art Collection. Looking back, how did you start your endeavor into the world of art? Um, sometimes I feel it's like a coincidence. I got into art. Um, I tried to find what to do and I went to a prep uh, in design just because I was uh, playing with color a lot and had a sketchbook and, um, and trying to figure out what I can do that's like a bit more creative but uh, that I can still earn money from. And during this prep, the only thing that seems reasonable and realistic was going into the arts, which is not like a place to earn money, but... Uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, something drew me there. And I started my uh, art, my bachelor's of fine art in, uh, in Tel Aviv, in Chicago. And I, I even remember, like, during the studies, not really taking my art seriously, it was just something, I, I was really so easy about it, I was very playful and light about it, because I didn't expect to be an artist. And only during my student exchange program in Basel, I really started to see myself as an artist. I think it was a lot because of the reactions I received, and suddenly it seems like it's possible. So yeah, kind of I, I don't know, it kind of rolled in this way. Now I cannot imagine myself doing something else. It's the main core of my identity. And um, all these works on this wall are uh, made on paper. But you also have uh, some works, or one work on canvas, and you also sold uh, to the Canton of Bern uh, canvas. Uh, which medium do you like? more. I like drawing. I really like drawing because it's not so important. You know there is less weight to it. I can just take a pen la, 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 and something is there and I didn't need to buy a canvas for it. I didn't need to get dirty with color for it. Um, and it's either good or it's not good and it's easy to move on from it. We make a painting and I'm working now on a painting and I'm just like for two months on the same painting and it's not like I'm painting daily, I really don't but I, I cannot make decisions, it's very hard to move forward because it's on the canvas there's something very stiff about it and heavy and the paper is more light, I mean there's also like a fear to make mistakes on the paper but it's less heavy and it's also a very different type of process. Mm -hmm. The size, does it matter? Do you like the small paper works? Is, does it matter? I mean, I, I, I really stick to kind of, I'm sticking to a format usually. So the drawings are, are either on A6 or A4 and the paintings are usually a meter on 80. But um, I really need to look at it and have the format like call me. When I was painting more intuitively, like, like I did the drawings, this is what I did in Basel, by the way, and I would have to find the format first of the, of the paper or the canvas and then make it, and then it would drive me. The format has a really strong impact. Okay. So, you have a very unique and amazing style. Um, what or who has or is still inspiring you? Yeah, my, my main source of inspiration and like my greatest uh, love in the art world is comics. The images are just like the storytelling. It's how telling the storytelling in a visual way, graphic novels. It's so playful, it's so free, it's not so strict. And it really gave me, gave me the, the freedom to express myself in a more fluent way, in a more that the hand doesn't really necessarily have to be a hand. It, it can be a line, it can be crooked. If anything, then the crookedness of it kind of 
kind of represents an emotional state or a mental state. Um, and still, like, this is the main art I consume, is comics. Mm -hmm. I started to make this zine, I call it Life Mix. Um, I think in 2018 I made the first one, it was about screens, so it really had like one subject. And it was text of me talking about the screens and their impact and drawings that kind of um, make it visual. And I decided to make another one in 2020 about my migraines. Mm -hmm. And again, it's really like, it's, it's not so structured. So there is text it's talking about the migraines, there is a way to cope with pain. And there is a visualization of, of the pain, of the migraine, how I experience it. And then the second part is like um, more light, more playful, and not specifically about migraines, but also it's like this drawing, this drawing uh, and a sentence to kind of put you in the realm of the drawing. And yeah, it's really nice that in, in comics you really are allowed a big variety of formats, of styles, and I really, really like it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, these are the, these are the colorful drawings. Yeah. So, uh, very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you currently have three sculptures in the exhibition. How did this come about? Um, well, during my studies, I, I thought of myself not more as a sculptor, so it's interesting that now I'm much more into the drawings. But um, I guess I guess each of them is a bit different. So the figure in the bath is really like a, just an intimate moment. And the other one is also an intimate moment, but the other sculpture I did uh, during quarantine uh, when I was really bored and it just felt like the time is stretching and everything becoming so liquidy like, like the figure is and just the TV is constantly on, you know, I mean even in lockdown you feel that, not necessarily when you're in quarantine. And the third one, well it's, it's like a, it's a front set off. So it's a plant, uh, I, I just looked at the plant and I tried to make something for it. Originally it was for a cactus that had thorns, so it was kind of to, that you don't touch it and you don't get sting. Um, and also with the bath, I mean, I have so many drawings and paintings of the bathtub as a comfort place and I just really needed to sculpt it. And once this, the bath was there, it was too empty <laughs> and I had to make a figure to fit in it. 